High drama across the weekend, 22nd October at the China Communist Congress Party's Forum where former Premier Hu Jintao was escorted out dramatically in front of everyone. I had so many requests and asking me, Christian, tell us what happened. Today, we're going to talk about that. So before we start, I would like to share with you something that names like Hu Jintao and Li Keqiang and Xi Jinping should be pronounced correctly. First of all, the language is not Chinese. The language is called Mandarin. Chinese is the ethnicity and the language we speak is called Mandarin. So unlike English, when you say a word fantastic, you can say fantastic, fantastic, it still has the same meaning. For Mandarin, it's actually four sounds to a single word. Like e e e e, it's called Han Yi Pinyin. So it's called Han Yi Pinyin. So a word like e could be e e e e. There are four different, totally different meanings when you say it in a different intonation. So for example, the word bian is corner, bian it's flat, bian means change. So by not saying the right pronunciation or the tone you're actually changing a person's name. So first of all, the current premier is Xi Jinping and not President Xi Jinping. <laughs> okay, it's totally different. So you learned something new today. The language, it's Mandarin. The ethnicity is Chinese. Okay, so what happened right there? Let's watch the video. So in this 10 minute video, I would like to share with you some simple basic uh, body language rules and uh, how you can still benefit with just short succinct teaching. So the first thing I want you to uh, notice when you watch this video is what, what are the possibilities that Hu Jintao, the former head of China, was unceremoniously escorted out of the Congress. So some people say it could be his health and some people say that uh, it was a flexing of power by Xi Jinping to show that he was in charge. And some speculated that um, Hu Jintao was uh, questioning certain party rules or um, some uh, protocols and that is why he was unceremoniously uh, let out. So with these few assumptions, uh, it's going to be quite easy for us to find out what, what, what could be the possibilities? Okay, so I want you to uh, first notice how straight faced and uninvolved most of the high ranking officials were. Okay, one or two were trying to glance at what's happening, but most of them look straight and trying to not get involved, right? They look straight and they don't want to get involved, even when uh, Hu Jintao was uh, escorted out, they looked straight. Now, 
is that a positive gesture? Does it sound like they are interested or they are concerned or they, you know, they want to distance themselves from the event? So it's quite clear they want to distance themselves from the event. Okay, so they don't want to get involved. They don't even look at it. Even at one point, Xi Jinping was looking the other way when you know the guy next to Hu Jintao on his left. Uh, that's actually Li Chang Sheng, Li Chang Sheng, and the one on Xi Jinping's right is uh, Li Keqiang. These are all uh, big people in the party. Now, when uh, the guy on uh, Hu Jintao's left, um, Mr. Li was communicating with him and taking away his red um, file, um, CGP actually looked the other way, like I, I don't want to even get involved, all right? Now, if I show you another video clip, this also happened, uh, it shocked our nation of Singapore when our leader, our Prime Minister Lee Sen Long, was delivering the National Day rally speech and all of a sudden, he had this fainting spell and his eyes started to roll and uh, he almost collapsed. In this video footage, uh, you don't get to see what we saw that day, which was live. Uh, our Deputy Prime Minister, uh, Ng Eng Hian, rushed up, because he's a medical doctor by profession, went up there and helped the Prime Minister. But in this footage, when the camera pans and look at the audience, you can see how concerned the audience are. And when they're concerned, they usually lean forward and they got many of them have their hands on their mouth like, oh my God, what's happening to him? And they really felt for the Prime Minister. So if you can see these two very distinct reactions, the one that shows the people at the Congress in China, they remain uninvolved as compared to the one in Singapore where people were actually concerned about the health of the Prime Minister. So immediately with this, you could tell that it wasn't a health issue that uh, Hu Jintao was escorted out. Because if people knew that, oh, he, he was having a heart attack or he was uh, perspiring and uh, he, he was having, having a medical emergency, people were like, okay, is he okay? They would all want to show some kind of concern. So in this case, it is not so. So we know that uh, from this body language, simple body language lesson, he was escorted out against his will. He was an old man. Uh, he could not fight back uh, physically. Uh, he did one last ditch attempt to whisper something to uh, Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping had very little words, just some kind of acknowledgement. And then uh, it was game over. Also, you know that uh, China had a blackout on this uh, footage. This footage that you're watching is from uh, Singapore's Channel News Asia. We had, were one of the privileged ones uh, that captured this uh, footage. So when you look at the internet, most of them uh, got this footage from our uh, TV station. So uh, after that, in China, they started to black out this part of this footage. So consider yourself privileged to uh, still be able to see this. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed today's uh, uh, lesson. And uh, you know, I just came back from my speakers association and uh, I did more street face reading. Today, I'm meeting Karen Lee for the first time <laughs> and she's agreed to let me read her face. Here's my second candidate for today. This is Darren Mock, he's a real estate uh, agent and uh, I'm meeting him for the first time. Yes. And it's something I like to do, I uh, didn't have the opportunity, but now after the COVID uh, lockdown has been removed, I have more opportunity. So I met two people at this uh, event and I said, can I read your face? They say, go for it. And I said, but you'll be appearing on YouTube. So I've done the footage, watch out and subscribe so that you will not miss when I upload the video shortly. How accurate is it so far? Pretty accurate so far. <laughs> I think it's very good. <laughs> Your analysis. <laughs> well, isn't it nice? This we call a street face reading and yes. so the second new friend today. Good Thanks. job. Thank you very so good. much. <laughs>